as of now, right? Is the resistance gaining strength, Absolutely. obviously, in your view, or Absolutely. is there any chance that it might peter out here? Simply being free, you're resisting. Every time an 18-year-old registers a vote, every time you see kids on a corner arguing over who they think should be their next city councilman, the resistance is growing. You were passionate for Sanders, right? You were out, you did a ton of stuff. Yeah. Sometimes got in a little trouble, um, you know, as which is good. It's not fun if you're not getting in trouble. Trouble I'm with that. So what got you into Bernie? When you grow up in Atlanta, on your grandmother's or your mother's wall, there's a picture of Jesus and Martin Luther King. So I grew up learning the principles of kinging and nonviolence. I grew up being mentored by those who had actually walked, marched and trained with him. Sanders was the only federal candidate in terms of president I had ever saw actually expound on the same principles of King. So if you're taught that your entire life, to me, how could you turn away from it when it was presented to you? So tell me about what we've learned since Trump took office. You know, it was like before he took the field, a lot of people had all these ideas about what the game was going to be like. Uh -huh. What's going to happen once he gets in? Now we're out actually on the field, right? Yeah. So what's that look like? How, what have we learned in 90 days about this fight between resistance well, and Trump? What we've learned is Democrats have finally gotten mad enough to go vote in a midterm election, right? John Ossoff might win here in Atlanta based on the fact that young Democrats are pissed off and angry the Democratic Party held on to the old guard longer than there should have. Right. Even when their people were telling them there's a new wave happening, there's a new type of Democrat. So let's talk about, just talk about culture for a second, right? So, so Run the Jewels 3 came out in December. Yes. That's a political record. We just say social. Right, yeah. But, we're not know, P. We're I, not as good no, as that. No, I, I know that, but there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a political edge to what you guys are doing in a way that a lot of hip hop it now can be is, not, is not that way, right? Absolutely. And I think, you know, the other album that strikes me is was Tribe's record, right? Which yeah. came out, you know, literally that Friday after the election. You got and good taste. The Grammys, they were the only ones who went political, right? They came out big and did that thing, knocked Absolutely. the wall down, had the dispossessed. That was kind of a big moment in the Grammys. But, you know, we've seen it at the Golden Globes. Yeah. We've got to SNL. It feels to me like one of the things that we haven't had in hip hop and in broadly in the culture is like that kind of political resistance. So talk about the way in which Trump has been, in some ways, um, uh, uh, salutary. I am a 40-year-old black man born in Atlanta, Georgia, raised in the South my entire life. What you are experiencing on a federal level is as though the federal government is now a southern state. Right. So how am I going to feel more afraid than I felt? Right. What it did as an activist was invigorate me. Right. I know that everyone now is angry enough to be in the streets. What's wrong with activism in this country is I'm an activist for gay rights. I'm a pro-women's activist. I'm a black activist. I'm an Asian activist. I'm a all these people are active away from one another. What the devil has done is force all the saints to have to sit together and say, how do we strategize with one another now for the greater good of us all? And if we have no silver lining out of the Trump presidency, at least now people who weren't talking a week before in terms of being allies now are, and I'm seeing more cross-pollinization of movements and less isolation of movements. Obviously, people want to stop Trump from doing bad things. Absolutely. They want to stop that. But that's not victory, right? We, as people who are actually in the streets fighting, should not only be fighting against Trump, what are we fighting for? Right. What does the day after Trump look right. like? 